Okay, guys, stop. Before you go out and buy all these interior accessories, try this free and easy backdrop using Canva. Hello, guys, and welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about how to create free and easy backdrops using Canva. Now, this is a backdrop that I want to use because um, my desk in my office, I have the bookcase, which is right here, that's going to be behind me. But when I'm on a live stream or Zoom, I want to have a nice backdrop. And I couldn't decide what type of backdrop or what would look nice. The great thing about Canva is that you can create and design many different backdrops before you purchase anything or before you wear yourself out constantly trying things, you know, before you even get started. So I'll just go over a few of these picks just to show you some design ideas and what you can do with Canva in order to create these different backdrops for your office space. So right here I had an op an abstract painting. I added a lamp, a horse, and I also added a plant with books and a wall sconce. And I also changed the wall color to gray. Now let me show you the current color of my wall. Let's see, here we go. Okay, here's another one that I use a different candle. I moved the plant and I tried a different lamp. The great thing about this is that you can do this without having to go and purchase all these different accessories before you even try them. So the best thing about this is that you can try the accessories. You can you can go to the different website, um, uh, capture the screen and bring it back to Canva and remove the background and insert it into your display. Now, in order for you to remove the background, you need to have a, a Canva Pro account in order to do that. I think it's one of the best features that Canva offers without ha without you having to leave the platform and find a secondary software to do this for you. Okay, now let's try another variation. Here's one where I added a botanical print. This is the natural color of my wall. This right here is a curtain that I will be using. Um, probably not in green, maybe in black. Here's the bookcase. Uh, I kept the lamp the same. I added uh, this is the same and this is the same. The only thing I did different was add a botanical and a different wall sconce, which I do not like. But hey, that is the part of experimenting with um, Canva and creating these backdrops without the headache, like I said, of pulling out everything and trying it, you know, over and over again. Let's go to another one. Here's another one with the gray wall with the botanical. And I actually like that one better than the, uh, the one with the peachy wall. Those are the walls that you get when you're renting. Um, I hate those colors. I don't know why they think that this is such a neutral color, but it really is. And it, it clashes to me with a lot of things. And sometimes it does mess up your um, design backdrop. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, here's one where I kept everything the same. Uh, this time I just added a different design to see how it would look. Not a fan. Here's one that I tried with a horse background. Uh, I really do like this one. It was different. Uh, I also incorporated a rock into that one. And right now I'm going to just go through a few more just so you can see. Okay.
Now here's one where I incorporated a frame with the botanicals and added some different elements, a little bit of traditional antique with a little bit of modern decor just to kind of mix it up to see how it looks. I kind of like that one. Okay, and let's see what else we got. Here's one that I included a lamp. And then here's one where I did a 3D step type decor. <clears throat> I was not a big fan of this one. And it didn't come out the way I really wanted it to. So there goes that. Okay, so guys, that concludes today's session. Just wanted to give you an idea of the many varieties um, and choices that that you have if you would use Canva to create your backdrop before purchasing any items. Okay, thanks and see you on the next video. Guys, again, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to check out my home office productivity guide as well as bonus planner. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, see you on the next video.